and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to add a SATA drive to an OWC Mercury Pro LTO Thunderbolt 3 archiving solution. We've already unplugged the device and are working on a soft static free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to remove these four Torx T8 screws from the bottom of the enclosure. At this point, it's a good idea to make note of which side of the outer shell corresponds to the front of the unit so you can reassemble it again later. Once you've marked the front of the outer shell, you can remove the inner chassis. The SATA bay is located here. Loosen the thumb screw and slide the drive carrier out of the unit. The SATA bay can use either 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch SATA drives. For 2.5 inch drives, align the drive in the corner of the tray so that the SATA connector is over the notch. Then, flip them over and using the shorter, narrow threaded Phillips screws that came with the enclosure, secure the drive through the small holes in the bottom of the tray. For 3.5 inch drives, set the drive into the tray with the SATA connection facing outward, then use the 6 longer thicker threaded Phillips screws to secure the drive to the tray, 3 on each side. Once you have the drive attached, you can slide the tray back into the slot and secure it with the thumb screw. Slide the chassis back into the outer shell so that the front of the unit matches up to how we marked it earlier. Finally, replace the four Torx T8 screws on the bottom. You may have to lift the inner chassis slightly in order to get the first screw to catch and lift the core. The remaining three screws should then go in normally. Your OWC Mercury Pro LTO is now ready to use.